Hey everybody, I welcome you to my channel and I welcome you to today's Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how I designed this um, social media flyer in Adobe Photoshop in a few minutes. So first, let's open our Adobe Photoshop and then on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus N and for Newton and then you can choose to give your flyer the project a name but I'm going to leave it like this and then give the rate an 8 then the height a 9 and then you leave the units and in inches and then leave everything as it is and then click on create so just like we do it you head over to the view go to new guide and then you set your guides and I believe most of us we know the reason why we normally set our guides if you've been following this channel you know that anytime I drop a video or anytime I um, do a tutorial I always set the guides right and what they do or what the the reason why I set I normally set the guides is that they help me to organize everything the guides serve as a margin so anytime I'm doing a work on working on a project the guides help me to keep everything in alignment right now that we have our guides in place we are going to um start with our background so unlock this and then come to um the adjustment layer and then click on solid color and then change the color to 110400 and click on okay all right now the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a shape so head over to your shape tool and then select the ellipse tool I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2020, right? And for you to get a perfect circle, you need to press on the shift key on the keyboard and then you drag to draw your circle, right? So just like that. So just keep it right here. Right thing is too big. So yeah, this is good. Then this is the color code that we are using. We are using FFA800. You can copy the color code. Good. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to add some glow effects to this shape. So with the shape to sorry the shape layer selected, come to um FX. Then click on the outer glow. And then you can copy all these settings. So you click on OK. Now let's go ahead and then bring in our image and I'll link these resources in the description of this video so you can download and then practice. Alright, now we have our image in place so I'll just rasterize the image. And then the image selected, I'll go to select, click on subjects. Good. Now with the image or the subject selected on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus G to duplicate the image. And then get rid of the original one we imported because we don't need it. Now adjust this, decrease the size a little. So I'm going to um, keep it like this. Right. Because this is good for me. Now let's grab the eraser tool. Right click on the eraser tool and then let's get um, smoothing the edges like this. Not too much, but something like this is okay. Right, good. The next thing we are going to do is to bring in our text. So head over to your text tool, and then add your first text near root. Good. So let's adjust the text finally. Bolt. Right, so let's change it to black and increase the font size. Good. Now this is for T, so I'll just keep it right here, like this, and click on this guy. Good. The next thing I'm going to do is to add our next text, which is and let's reduce the size it's too big so the next text is good 
God bless the re- Then we adjust it like this. Good job. Let's decrease the size. Let's keep it right under the new read text. This. Now let's change the color. So double click on it. Come here. And then sample this color here. The color of the circle. We we'll sample it. And then we click on OK. Good. Now let's add our last text. It is new read. New grace. Right. You can always choose to use a different text if you want but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to use this text so awesome this is good for me let's uh push the shape to right side the little bit okay then let's run through oh. so you can have a space for the this text now let's cut over to the shape and then draw a rectangle shape like this right on top of the new week new grease text you can always adjust it to suit your own like here and then we are going to turn off the color fill then give it a stroke of white change this to that then keep this at 2 and then let's um change this to 20 pixels right now rasterize it then come to the mark to right and get rid of this part then press on the letter on your keyboard and then deselect code and the next thing you are going to do is to head over to our folder and then bring in um, this arrow right here. Now on your keyboard, press on Ctrl plus T, T for table and then transform it. So flip horizontal and then you rotate it like this, decrease the size. And you keep it right here. Right, now let's head over to our folder again and then bring in our last resource, which is this one. And then let's teach you the size it. Okay, so you just put it right on top of this text here, like this. Good. All right, now head over to the new layer icon, click on it, and then create a new layer. Then drag it moving below the image you just imported. Alright. And then come to your brush tool and grab your brush tool. And then come here and then select the hard round brush. Let me show your foreground color is this 110400. Click on OK. And then you start to draw. So I'm going to draw. Let me decrease the size right it's too big good so yeah drawing you need to take your time so you don't get things messy right so just like this slowly then don't forget you need to make sure that it's under the um this image right okay slowly
good. And now we've been able to paint everything, but you realize that there is um this error here, so you can grab your eraser. Alright, we get over there and we get rid of this parts. Just make sure that everything is perfect. Good, now let's add our final text. So just select this text, Ctrl plus Z to duplicate, and then double click on it to change it to welcome to a button. Then move it on top, make sure it's on top on the painting we just did and just it diffuse the size change the color to white and let's keep it right in the middle like this good this is good to me now the next thing we are going to do is to add our on glow effects to do our final adjustment but before we do that i want to bring to the notice that not long ago i just um, launched the premium resource files and what the this file contains is that it has over 3000 premium design resources that graphic designers like you can use to upgrade your game and this file comes with quality abstracts and gradient background it also comes with 3d images and icons premium and then over 500 hd stock models that you can use for your commercials social media flights and every other thing i mean every other project you also get to um get 2000 plus elegant and stylish fonts and over 100 light effects all at a cost and it's it's just a one-time payment when you make this payment, you are going to get everything for life. And the amazing thing is that as we go on, as I create new um, flyers and new projects, this resource file will be updated, which means that more and more resources will be added. And so I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video, or I pin it in the comment section. So you watch out for that. Right, now back to our flyer. The next thing I'm going to do is to add our glow effects so come to your new layer create a new layer and then you move it right here it should be below the image right so select the new layer that we just created and then grab your brush tool right and then come to your foreground and change the foregrounds with this sample this color here Click on OK, and then increase the size, and then the brush select soft round, and then starts. Sorry, it's too small. So let's let me increase it to thousand pixels by this. So we just click on this side once or twice, as much as you want, and then you come here and then click once or so. Now with the layer selected, come here and then change the blend mode to pin light. Okay. And then the next thing to do is grab the brush tool again and then create a new layer. And then let's drag it right below the circle that we drew with the same foreground color. With the same um size. Let's increase it a little bit. Then you click, so you press here once. This is too big, so oh no, let me keep it at 1000 pixels. And then just make a one click here. I think it's too small, so let me right, okay. Then you can also change the blend mode to pin right like this. Good. 
Now really you can adjust this as you want. You can always choose a different blend mode as you wish. Now let's color grade our picture a little bit because it is looking very pale. So select the image, go to image, click on adjustments, click on hue and saturation. Now let's increase the saturation to mm, let's say 30. It's good. And there we have our flyer looking so amazing. Now you can go ahead and then save your flyer and then use it on social media or anything, any way you want to use it. Peace.